So we usually start with a little warm up. So come into standing mountain pose to start. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulder lined up, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, and just spread your toes out. Get your core activated. That means bring your ribs toward your spine and up and lengthen through the spine. And then just relax your shoulders down. And just take a moment to focus inward, getting that yoga perspective, noticing how your body is and where things maybe need a little bit of attention. And remember always where your attention goes, that's where the energy flows, and that's where the most effective work is being done. So pay attention to what needs to be paid attention to. We're gonna warm up the spine. So bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, bring the elbows a little bit back to keep your heart open. And then inhale, bringing your arms all the way to the front to keep your shoulders down. And then exhale, hands behind you. Just clasp the fingertips and press them to the floor. And then look up toward the ceiling just slightly so don't lift your chin too much. You want to stretch the back of your neck as you lift your heart. And then pivot at your hips. Come on over, letting the hands come up toward the ceiling and the head down toward your feet. And just take a moment there, letting the back of your body get a good stretch. You can move your chin around, let your neck get a little release. And then bend your knees slightly, lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and start at the bottom of your spine, wind your body back all the way up. And again, coming into a nice upper body back bend, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, and looking slightly overhead. Toes spread out, not gripping, and then stretching out through the top of your head. On an inhalation, come on back up, release your arms. Just take a moment feeling your spine getting a little more energized. And same thing, inhaling, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, elbows back, stretch to the front, keep your shoulders always down. And then bring your hands behind, but clasp the opposite way. So shift the fingers one position over. Press the hands toward the floor again and lift your heart. Stretch into that upper body back bend. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, and just round forward as much as you like. Hands moving towards your head for your shoulders to release a little bit. Sitting bones lifting, stretch the back of your legs. And don't forget to breathe. And again, knees slightly bent, chin in, do that wind back all the way up. And another nice upper body back bend, dropping your shoulders, pushing your head back and lifting your heart. Take a moment there, just breathing into the back bend. Feel the lengthening even while you're in the back bend. And then inhale up, release your arms, and just take a moment, observing your body respond. So forward bend, backward bend. Now we're gonna do side to side lateral motions. So bring your arms again to shoulder levels, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders, and then pass them, turn them in clasp. Pull your arms back by your ears, shoulders down, head out, sitting bones toward the floor, everything facing the front, no twisting, and lean over to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, out through the fingertips and the top of your head, and just feel the ribs open and the contraction on that opposite side. And then on an inhalation, come back in the middle, put the other hand to the front, balancing things. And again, arms by your ears, everything facing front, shoulders down, and lean to the opposite side. So again, feel that stretch through the ribs as you push the foot you're leaning away from there, up through the top of your head and your fingers. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Just pull that top shoulder slightly back. Inhale back to the center and exhale into mountain pose. Feel the sides more open. And now we're gonna really open the spine for the twist. So you want the base of the spine, base of the skull to stretch apart so the bones have room to twist. Arms again, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, 
hands above your shoulders. This time, just clasp your elbows. Keep the arms by your ears, your toes spreading out. Sitting bones and crown reach away and exhale, turning into each twist, either direction. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on over. So just deepen into that position as much as your body likes. Keep the arms by your ears. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Kind of lift the sitting bones, relax through the back of your body. And then staying in the twist, work your way back up as you inhale and lift your heart, drop your shoulders, elbows back. So upper body back bend, especially when you're twisted because you don't want to overdo that low back. Elbows back, shoulders down, chest high. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Switch your arms because we always balance things out. And again, shoulders down, sitting bones down, crown stretching up, and exhale to the opposite side. Another breath, exhale over. So just come into that forward position as deeply as you'd like. Check your feet, make sure you're spreading your toes, keeping the weight on both feet. Keep breathing, lift the sitting bones maybe a little more. And then keeping your arms still by your ears, staying in the twist, work your way up into that upper body through the back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, and chest up. Take a moment, just breathing in that upper body back bend. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms straight up into extended mountain. Feel the feet evenly sinking down. Keep the shoulders toward your waist and the fingertips and head reaching up. Get that lengthening through your body. Feel that core. Make sure it's supporting your lower back. And then we're going to pull the thing, fingers back and look up and lift your heart. Come into a little bit more of a back bend there as much as you like. Just gently. And then back upright. We're going to pivot at the hips, keep your arms by your ears, and come parallel to the floor or thereabouts. Stretch out, sitting bones and crown away from each other, everything straight and long. And then just drop into ragdoll and hang. So fingertips down toward the floor and sitting bones lifted. You can bring your hands behind your legs and pull in a little deeper for a more, more of a back bend if you like or more of a bend in your back. And then hands to the front. And again, do the wind up, just slowly working your spine back, shoulders back and down and into mountain pose. Take a moment there, feeling all that circulation through your spine. So we worked it in six directions, forward, backward, side to side, and both the twists. So take a moment just observing how that works in your body. And then hands to your back, heels of the palms on your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. And then pull your elbows toward each other. Feel that heart expand across the front. Spread your toes. Keep the hips over your ankles. Look up just slightly, not too much with that chin. And then push your head back and lift your heart and move into a back bend a little deeper with that support on your lower back so that you're not overdoing anything there. Elbows toward each other, keeping that heart open as you're in the back bend. Take a breath, stretch your head back, and then chin slightly toward your chest and come on all the way back up. Release your arms, and just take a moment again, feeling that circulation through your body. Exhale any tension. Bring your hands to your heart. Look at them as you bring the hands toward the ceiling. Extend the arms straight. Keep the shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And then keeping the shoulders down, pull the thumbs back. Keep looking at them as you again lift your heart, coming into another upper body back. Exhale, follow your hands down to your heart. Pivot at your hips, exhaling over. Drop into ragdoll, just let your arms hang. 
Lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees, bring your hands up under your knees on your shins, come into that halfway of stretch. So the whole body is nice and straight and flat. Exhale, drop the hands back down, bend your knees, palms together. And again, bring your hands to your heart, keep the shoulders down as you once again bring the fingertips toward the ceiling. And again, nice upper body back bend, looking at your thumbs as you pull the head and hands forward. Exhale, hands to your heart, dropping into mountain pose one more time. Take a moment as you get there. Just feel your spine. Work a lot of spine in this process. So just notice how that's working today. We're going to do a little pelvic tilt and back bend and forward bend. So to do that, we're going to turn the toes just slightly up, making sure you're turning your whole leg so your knee and toes are still going the same direction. Just turning it to the side so you can see. So keep the, the feet back hip width apart. And you're going to bend the knees toward your toes, not beyond. And they're just positioning you. Put your hands above your knees. Again, positioning to not put a lot of weight into your hands. Straighten your spine. So the sitting bones go one way, crown goes the opposite way. Shoulder blades always towards your waist. Get that back supported. So ribs toward your spine and up, feeling that support through the low back as you're straight. And then we're going to drop into a back bend. So just pull your chest slightly forward and your sitting bones back, letting your back wound as you look to the front. Chest forward, shoulder blades towards your waist, no pressure in your hands. Keep your shoulders over your toes. And then pull the ribs back, tuck your chin in, tuck the sitting bones down and forward, coming into a forward bend. Again, the shoulders stay above your toes. So you're not really moving anything but that middle part of your body. Again, hands not putting a lot of pressure on those knees. So inhale, sitting bones back, chest forward, looking to the front, nice back bend, dropping those ribs down. And then exhale, tucking forward and down, looking between your toes. So keep the shoulders over your toes as you just move through that whole pelvic motion and spinal movement. Exhaling forward bend, inhaling another back bend, just as deeply as your body looks. And then the next time as you exhale forward bend, just pause, inhale coming back up and again into mountain pose. Take a moment as you breathe, feel your body, notice what it's doing in response to your practice today. We'll do a little balance practice because we don't do that enough. So find your favorite balance food. It's always better to start on the one that's best because then you can educate your second side as you go. Lift the toes up, get the base of the toes, balls of the feet, into the surface beneath you and then spread your toes out as you put them down, but never grip because you lose that base. Heel and base of the toes evenly supporting you. Make sure your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder line up so you may need a little rolling at the top of the thighs to keep all that nice and straight and open. Or activate it with those ribs toward the spine and up to support your low back. Make sure your shoulders are back and down and the crown toward the ceiling. Sink into that foot and bring the other one up. So again, a little rolling to make sure that foot doesn't cross over the other leg. You can keep it low or you can bring it higher or you can pull it in toward your heart, whatever works for you. As you get stable, we're gonna circle the ankle because that keeps our feet flexible and make sure that as we age, we don't Get those stiff angles that cause us to fall. And then flex and point a couple of times, straightening it out and bring your foot back down. Take a breath, sink into both feet evenly. And we're going to, of course, balance on the other foot so things are evened out. So again, lifting your toes, getting that base of the toes to heel, all arched up through that foot, and then the toes spread out and support you 
with that good base of support, ankle, knee, hip, shoulders wide up, core activated, shoulders back and down, around to the ceiling, and the other foot comes up. And again, if your balance challenge, you can leave it down. You can bring it just a little way up, or you can pull it in, whatever works for you. Make sure that that foot doesn't cross the other one. And then circling your ankle when you're stable. Breathing. Making sure that you're not too tense and tight. And then again, flexing point to release. And as you get back into mountain pose, go ahead, exhale all that balance stress and allow yourself to focus inward. So when we balance, if you move in and it's not working, you can always stop and return to the same practice going from the start to the completion, not rushing anything, just doing it. Or you can have a chair next to you as a support or just a confidence builder if that works better for you. Again, hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing the hands toward the ceiling. Bring your thumbs back again for a nice back bend. Exhale, we pivot on over, rag dog. Just hang a moment, lifting your sitting bones, slide up into that halfway up stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Bend your knees, exhale, come all the way to the floor. Into Dial's pose, this is our transition. Hands, palms up, forehead down toward the floor, shoulders relaxing forward. Just take a moment in that nice forward bend, stretching your spine, breathing. Bring your knees together if you like that back of your body, lower back stretch, or separate them if you need to breathe more easily. Exhale any tension. And then bring your arms to the front, kind of toward the sides of the mat. We're going to pivot up, slide your feet back, Drop your hips, just roll your whole body onto your belly. Head to one side, hands, palms up at your side, and just relax the shoulders down. Resting crocodile. When we come into this position, usually our transition for the forward position, we exhale and turn your head to the opposite side evenly so that you get your neck working both sides in balance. So take a moment and breathe. And then bring your forehead toward the mat. Bring your arms overhead. Shoulder width apart, palms down. Feet hip width apart behind you. And then we're going to inhale. Rotate your face slightly forward, crown up. Tuck your chin back so that neck stretches. Lift your feet slightly off the floor, pushing back through the base of your toes. And then lift your hands off the floor. So stretch forward, breathe in, lift as high or as not high as your body wants. A little back bend or a big one if you love them. Stretch out as you're doing it, chest forward, crown high. And then as you exhale, bring your hands and feet to the floor and rotate your forehead back to them. Take a moment and breathe. So that gets a little bit into that middle lower back. Now we're going to do some upper back back bending with a cobra version. So take your fingers back by the heel of your palm and then plant them there and bring the heels of your palms further back toward your body, still above the mat, above your head. Elbows out toward the sides of your mat, forehead on the floor, and then inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck your chin back toward your chest, stretching the back of your neck, and then focus on your heart, bring it forward and up. So notice where the contraction is in your body on this one. It's gonna be up in that neck and upper shoulder area. Just notice the lower body does nothing, just let it relax, feet hip width apart, just hips, ribs down on the floor. Take a breath, and as you exhale, pivot back, Forehead to the floor. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring your fingertips again toward the heel of your palm, hands a little bit closer toward your head, elbows further out toward the sides. Forehead on the floor, feet relaxed, hip width apart. 
Just let that lower body release. Inhale, gaze forward, crown up. Again, tuck the chin back slightly so that neck keeps stretching. Focus on the heart, forward and up again, coming a little higher into that cobra, a little bit more into that upper back and heart area this time, rather than the neck and shoulder area. So just notice as we get the hands closer to your body, the contraction moves down your spine. Take a breath, lengthening, chest forward, crown high. And as you exhale, pivot again, forehead to the floor. As it gets down, one more time. Hands coming in, a little closer toward your head. So maybe right outside the temples. Elbows way out to the side, hands still shoulder width apart, so right in front of your shoulders. Forehead starts on the floor. Inhale, face forward, crown up, tuck the chin, stretch the back of your neck, chest forward and up, shoulder, shoulder blades down, coming into that shoulder blade area this time on that contraction. Just breathe, maximizing for your body or minimizing, remember, personal practice, do what's right for your body. Take a breath. And again, on an exhalation, pivot back slowly down, forehead to the floor. And then Yogini's Choice. So if you like that version, you can keep your hands there. If you like the previous version or the first version, you can move your hands further out. So pick a point where you want your hands to be. Forehead starts on the floor again. And inhale, face forward, round to the ceiling. Tuck the chin, stretch the back of the neck, pull the chest forward and up, round toward the ceiling. Feel where that main point of the contraction is in this back bend, cobra. And remember, if you got the wrong point, you can go exhaling down, move the hands further out to go up the spine or closer to your shoulders to go down the spine. Wherever you are, just lengthen the spine. Keep that chest moving through the heart forward, shoulders and shoulder blades always down towards your waist. And just lengthen the spine, breathing into it. Maximize or minimize, remember, personal practice, do what's right for your back. Let the spine do the work. Don't push into the arms or hands. Exhale, pivot on back down. When your forehead touches, bring your hands under your shoulders. We're gonna press up and back and into child's pose. Get a good forward bend going and releasing all that back bend work we were just doing. So counteracting, just relaxing, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale, sitting up, slide off, and bring your legs out to the front. Oh, let's do this. So we're coming into staff position with the sitting bones slightly behind you, feet flat out in front of you with the toes up, knees up. And we're going to dive our dolphin for our twist. So bring your foot up to the inner thigh. I'm doing my right foot, inner thigh, knee out to the side as much as you can. So if that hip is a little tight, yeah, we didn't get a lot of time to warm that hip joint up today. Bring the other knee, heel back close to your hip as much as you want, but not under it with the knee straight out to the front. And then we're gonna lengthen up through the spine. And as you exhale, we're gonna turn toward that first knee. So my right knee, hands on the leg or the floor, either way. And again, we're gonna work the spine. So pull the ribs back, hook your chin and dive under exhaling, you're the dolphin. And then rotate your face forward, inhaling, coming up to the sun and the sky. So this is Diving Dolphin, Roxanne's favorite. Dive under, get a nice little forward bend going, and then get a nice little backward bend as you lift your heart to the sun and the sky coming up. And just follow your breath, slowly or fast, diving under like a dolphin, exhaling, and leaping up to the sun and the sky as you inhale. And then this time, as you come back up, pause at the top, 
Exhale, stretch your spine as you exhale and turn back to the center and release your legs. Take a moment there, just feeling that spine energy and noticing what your body is telling you. It's probably saying, hey, we need to balance and go the other way. So yeah, our dolphins are gonna go the opposite direction. So left foot up, inner thigh, knee out toward the sides. Keep those sitting bones nicely behind you for some, some alignment. And then knee bending, bring that heel in near your hip, foot back, not under your hip so that that hip can rise so it's got room to turn. Stretch your spine apart up through the crown, keep that core active, exhale, turn toward that opposite knee. Again, hands on the leg or the floor, whatever's comfortable for you, pull back, rounding, tucking under, forward bend as you dive under, exhaling. Face forward. Remember, keep stretching that back of the neck as you lift your heart and inhale all the way up. So it's a forward bend. Exhale, diving under. And another back bend, lifting your heart, stretching that spine as you come up. And just hear the dolphin playfully along the shore, leaping up and exhaling. Diving back under the ocean. And once again, as you come to the top, pause, exhaling, turning to the center, releasing your legs back to staff position. And of course, it's time to get ready for our final positions. So bring your feet to the end of the mat or active to support you as you roll slowly onto the floor. Coming out to your mat, reclined integration, just let your arms relax. Feet hip width apart, bring your hands to T position, palms up or down, your choice. Palms down tends to stabilize the shoulders a little bit more if you need that. Bend your knees, sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down. Bring your heels in near your sitting bones, knees straight up toward the ceiling. Press down into your low back. And then lift your feet off the floor, knees right next to each other. Just a simple little side towards twist. So bring the knees over to one side. Turn your head toward that opposite arm. And then you can have the hands, palms up or down, whichever works for you. Shoulders down, shoulder blades on the floor for that middle back twist. Knees moving for that lower back twist. They can go as far as they want. Keep your feet down if you need to for some support. And turn your head to look toward that opposite arm for that neck twist. Just breathe and relax. And of course, on your own, you'd hold these twists longer. But we don't have the time to do that. So heels back toward your hips. Roll onto your back. Knees again above your hips. And we're going to roll the knees to the opposite side. Turn your head the other direction. Shoulders still down. So knees for the lower back, coming toward the floor. Remember, you can pad if you need to, if you need just gentle low back twisting. Turning your head only as much as feels right for your neck. And then shoulders relaxing, getting that middle back twisting. Take a breath, just exhaling, relaxing into your twist as much or little as you need. Heels toward your hips, roll again onto your back. This time, bring the feet to the floor, sliding the legs out, and the hands, palms up near your sides, at your hip level, shoulders down, and just toes toward each other, and relax the legs. Deep breath in, letting those shoulders sink, soften your face, close your eyes, focus inward, and just allow your breath to deepen, and your body to grow heavy for our final relaxation. Deep breaths, allowing your body to soften and sink into that earth support, letting everything go. Softening and sinking, just releasing everything and allowing awareness of your body to release from your mind. As those thoughts release, you know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. 
At this moment, there's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath, never focusing on the content, just letting them drift away like you breath. Your body sinking into that earth support, your mind flowing free, drifting like the clouds, out of attention, out of awareness, and just allowing your awareness to turn inward. Find that peace deep within. Fill your body, fill your mind, fill your being with peace and breathe. Just a few breaths, relaxing completely. If you have time to keep relaxing today, take as much time as you have opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the line, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely as your body is willing to do. And when you're ready for your final yoga honey appreciation, when you're sitting bones toward your heels, pressing your back down gently, heels drawing up toward your hips, and then draw your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however feels good for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.